everyone welcome to my channel my name is Eve this is everyday artist and welcome uh, I just thank you so much all my new subscribers uh, those of you that keep coming back and watching me ramble on for a little while about the cross stitch or quilting or whatever uh, that I've been doing this week I just I just really appreciate you uh, this is Rogue and uh, we're going to have a giveaway. Uh, this is the second week where you have the opportunity to uh, uh, to chime in if you want it. And we'll talk about that later. And then uh, we'll pick who wins next week. Uh, and I have, I have some sewing. I have some quilting. Uh, I have... Uh, cross stitch and uh, so I'm gonna start with the sewing uh, after I started working on the quilt for a little while I just picked up the bag and I just started sewing it and now I'm like oh yeah I want to do the other one <laughs> and, and another one um, this is our traditional uh, style bag and let's see the cute little dog wearing a turkey costume or a pilgrim costume isn't that hilarious <laughs> I, I, I just love this when I saw it um, so it has a little leaf charm and uh, this is not exactly like my uh, previous bags because I lost my pattern. Um, I'm sure it's around somewhere. But I made the pattern, so I just kind of went from memory. So the handles are a little bit thinner. But uh, other than that. And uh, it has a maroon um, zipper. And the inside is the same as the bottom here. So that's the traditional bag and it does come with, well, no, that's not the right one. It does come with a matching notions pouch. Um, this zipper has a little acorn, same color as the leaf and the same inside fabric. Well, the light is letting you see through it, but even though it has interfacing on it, you can still see through it. But, yeah, sorry. But, like this, you cannot. <laughs> so, um, that is a set. And then, I also made this one. It's got a fancy zip. Those are supposed to be scissors. And this one has a little pumpkin charm. And uh, it's big enough. Mine is about the same size that I use. Um, y you can get an eight and a half by 11 in here. Um, but uh, it's better for smaller projects like I keep um, the nativity berry in mind because the pattern is smaller and I don't mind folding the fabric but I don't use Q-snaps so um, I'm planning to make more uh, but I want to make them just slightly bigger it's just this one <laughs> I'm still working with the uh, um, how I want to do it. I, I know I want to do it with a fancy zip and um, I kept adjusting it and so the size just kept getting a little bit smaller and so I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna work on it so that I can get it just a little bit bigger so that um, 
have a little bit more height and a little bit more width. Um, sorry, that's my phone telling me stuff I don't care about. Um, so, uh, the, the, both of these are on the, my, the Etsy shop, the Three Sisters Creative Etsy shop already, um, and the dimensions are written there. Um, I'm really horrible at remembering numbers, or I would tell you what they were because I measured them. I just don't remember. I'm so sorry. I no, I don't remember. I I know how big it was, like when I started, <laughs> but um, yeah. You know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put underneath here what the dimensions were because that's easier. And uh, this one also has a matching notions pouch with a little orange acorn. And that was my sewing. No, except for quilting. So I started putting everything together. How did I fold this? This is not all the rows sewn together yet. Um, I had this, the, the panels and the sashing last time I spoke to you, I think. And this hasn't been ironed, but I, I'm trying really hard to make sure that this is upside down. So sorry. But you get the idea. To make sure that the cornerstones are centered. The reason why I'm holding it upside down is I started at the bottom and that's just because that's the way it was layered. So this is pinned. <laughs> this is the next uh, the next row. So I have two rows sewn together. This row is ready to go and um, the uh, This is the second to last row, so I'll have one more sashing strip to sew on and then the last row. And then I might put it away until sometime next year. I, uh, I have a couple of projects that are quilting related that I wanted to work on and um, one of them is a snowman um, table runner that I started cutting everything out for um, a year ago. And uh, I think I want to work on that. I like this. I want to finish this part of it, but then I just have to put the borders on and, and the quilt top will be done. Um, so... Yeah, I'm. I I'm not gonna put quilting on my Whipco board next year. But what I am gonna do is put the quilting projects that I'm work that I have partially done, and the ones that I want to work on on not exactly its own board, but on a. just so that I have in mind, you know, so that I pick one and work on that kind of thing. Something like Whipgo, but not, because I'll decide what month I work on them. But um, I, I put I put these quilting um, challenges on on Whipgo, and I ended up working on a whole bunch of quilting projects at the same time. And it it worked out that two quilting projects were called like in January and and uh, three projects were called in May and one of those was quilting and I haven't done that because it's just you know and so I think I was getting a little bit um, stressed by trying to do 
it all. And that's not to say I mind working on more than one project at a time. It's just harder when you're doing something, you know, like a quilt because it requires more um, uh, time, you know, to lay everything out and, you know, cut everything and everything. So um, that's what I think I'm going to do. And I'm going to remind you of this pattern, Calico Cats. Um, I really like the way this pattern is done with the colorful cats. Not necessarily the white background, but and, and the reason I say not necessarily a white background is that's the reason for these opposite cats right here and here so that she could use some of the lighter uh, colored um, uh, blocks uh, charm packs <laughs> at the five inch squares and uh, and while that was a solution and it looks good and um, and I could you know I couldn't figure out to do this in a way that I liked it um, you know I think I think sometimes it's easier to just pick a color that'll work with all of them I don't know but um, I may want to try this again at some point um, with more colorful fabrics like this because this is, a, you know, very pretty. Not that the fab not that I dislike the fabrics I try, um, I'm doing it in. I just like the pattern. Um, on the other hand, it's taking me so long to finish this one that I may not. We'll see. So, that is all the sewing and quilting that I've done. I know it's not a terrible amount of quilting, but... I was real happy to get the sewing done too, so um, there is that. So I forgot to add some, I put something in my video, so the sun is much higher now <laughs> than it was, so the lighting is different. Uh, but I am inserting this toward the beginning of my video, so it'll look weird. Sorry. Uh, try to get, well, no. The sun is very, very, very bright. <laughs> and I wish it would make it warmer, but it doesn't. Uh, it's warm for y'all, I know. We, we're wusses. We're not used to cold. Okay, so I did some FFOing. And I finally put a little bow at the top of my uh, Foxy Fall. And uh, this is... Uh, found this at Hobby Lobby. It's like a chrysanthemum or something, but I liked it. So there's that. And then I don't know if I showed on this channel, I had this broom, great, grapevine broom that I got at Target. And I put this little fall thing on it. Um, but I put it on in such a way that I can take it off and then I'll put a Christmas one on it. So there's that. And then um, I don't know if I showed on this channel this uh, that I bought for finishing uh, Thankful What's in My Cup. This is a stitching with the housewives pattern. And um, I stained this. Gosh, the lighting is awful. I stained this um, with a gel stain rather than the kind of stains I've been using. Uh, and I know that, you know, my little stuff of the trims is not perfect, but I still like it. It had a, a little raffia like bow up here it was flat it was ugly i pulled it off 
put this stuff, but it left a big residue there, so needs needed a big thing stuck on there. So that is that. Man, I'm glad I got the rest of the video done before this light. This is awful. Um, so I did spend a lot of time doing FFOs uh, last week, this past week. Back to the darker video. So, uh, I'm trying to decide where I'm going to start with my cross stitch. I'm going to start with this. I bought this and started working on it a week ago, July. I mean, a week ago, a year ago. And I don't know what I did with the little picture. Uh, so I'm going to put the little picture right here. So <laughs> that's a sign to me. Put something here. <laughs> um, so I've been doing the beads. I have to stitch this down correctly. Um, they show you uh, how to stitch it down so that it doesn't move. I, I'm going to do that after the beads are in because it kind of goes over. kind of goes over these two beads are here and then it has these beads and it just I don't want it going over the words so you know I'm not sure how I want to do that also that's another reason why I haven't done it but I realized that all of the beads around it have to be put in first before you know to figure out where to lay it flat so I have many of the green beads done not a lot not all of them and many of the red beads done now the red beads don't show up as shiny that's okay but uh hopefully i'll finish this before christmas so this little puppy can send his letter to santa Let's see. Problem is, I need a table, a flat surface, so that I won't, you know, pop beads everywhere. And I don't like sitting up on a hard chair. Um, makes it difficult for me to get up again. So it's not something I'm just like, oh yeah, let me go bead over there for a little while. Uh, but I'm going to have to do it so that I can finish that. And uh, I'm going to put another picture here of this design. This is my own design, um, The Greatest Story. And I've gotten a little bit further on it. And this is up on my, uh, the Etsy shop. Um, I'm in the middle of this blue. And it's not that I don't like my patterns. It's just... I've already seen them and kind of done them by making them. So I need to just help go, you know, just have at it and get this done. So um, I've been working on it little by little. So um, this is the wise men. And the angel singing will be over here and the angel talking to Mary over here. I don't know if it's about seeing, let me back up, the story told, especially in Luke, of what happened, you know, um, is a beautiful story. And I've seen movies and, and, you know, some hit it, some don't. But I have 
to go, how? How do you live the rest of your life knowing an angel stood in front of you and that you were going to be the mother of the Savior? So it starts with this incredible moment, right? And just goes on from there. So I just, uh, you know, I don't know that this is the best representation of that, but um, it's one of my favorite stories in the Bible. There are many <laughs> favorite stories, but uh, so in a way, I can't wait to get this done. Um, I just get caught up in doing all the other stuff that um, I kind of forget to work on it. So I've kept it nearby, and I try to put in at least a thread every time. Now, I had to go back and take out <laughs> one of the... I had, uh, I had one wise man almost done. And I was like, darn it, <laughs> he's one stitch too high. And I needed to fix that because of the, of the star. So I need to get this done because I really like it. Um, it's, it's not going to get done this Christmas, but um, it'll get done. And as I said, the pattern is already up there with, with a, the photo that I showed you just now. And um, then my uh, nativity berry, as long as we're talking about Christmas, this big, the larger berry is the one I'm working on. This fabric is darker than the fabric I chose. So my white, gosh, the sun isn't as harsh on me right now because it's earlier in the day. I wanted to come out here and film like early and I just could not, it's cold, so I could not get up out of bed. Um, so this is the beginning of the star. These are the little stars. This is all their... I guess you call those halos. I don't know what they are. In uh, traditional uh, paintings, Leonardo da Vinci and others of his era and time that is put behind their, their heads. And it is not something that is in my church, the halos behind their heads. Um, it's not to say I don't like it, uh, you know, and all that. It's it is not what I am used to seeing. Um, but I'm going to tell you a little story about that. Now, I love this. So don't misunderstand. I love this pattern. Happily stitching it. I was so excited when I got it. Okay. But I am not Catholic. I have nothing against Catholics at all. Um, I have nothing against any other religion. I think everybody's relationship with God is their business. I would like for them to have a relationship with God, with the God I have one with. But I don't... Um, I don't have anything against anybody others. So as a matter of fact, there's a, a mother of one of my former um, 
Sorry, this is annoying me. I thought I got all Halloween stuff down and I didn't. <laughs> so, um, when I was in high school, I took an art class. Now, my beliefs have always been strong. And I come from New Mexico. Now, New Mexico is one of those states that has a very high Catholic population. And, um, and the, um, in, in the Catholic Church, they have representations of, of saints, which we do not have in my church. And it is not how I believe. As I said, they can believe whatever they want. It is their religion, their relationship. I was going to say the mother of a former uh, uh, client, for less of, lack of a better word, of, of mine when I taught art in, uh, in the day program. She has a son who is autistic, who was the best artist, fantastic artist. Um, but uh, she is Mormon. Well, her whole family is Mormon. I love this woman. I love her. So when I say I have no, not, okay, so I have to give that caveat before I tell you this story. So I'm in art class and um, I didn't like my art teacher. I was a freshman in high school and it was because she kept telling me I couldn't do things. Um, she wanted us to make punch needle rugs and to make the pattern we were going to take two different uh, pieces of construction paper, two different colors, whatever colors we wanted, but two different ones. Then we're going to and cut them in however way we wanted that was just like a pattern, just like, you know. And that would be our pattern. Okay. And then we were fine yarn, that color, at our expense, from, you know, the store and make rugs, little rugs. And my design was very tight. And she said, you'll never be able to do that. You cannot make this precise like that. And I said, want a bit? She's like, the punch needle isn't that precise and I you know we were punching through burlap and I said want to bet so I did my project and it was very precise and very the way I wanted it and uh, everybody else's was not but you know don't tell me what I can't do <laughs> so, um, I think it was in her class where I had to copy a Monet using um, tempera paint on on uh, poster board. And perhaps I will put the picture here of, I still have my project. And uh, it took me hours. Hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on my knees with that poster board because it's so big. You can't put it on a on an easel because it's floppy, <laughs> you know. And then it's poster board, and then you're using tempera paint to try to recreate a master's work that was done in oil. Mm. Don't tell me what I can do. <laughs> So, um, so her next assignment was that we had to make a santo, a saint, uh, on a piece of wood. We had to paint a saint on a piece of wood. I said, I'm not doing that. And she said, it's the assignment. If you don't do that, you'll get an F. I said, want to bet? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. 
And it took my father having to go to the principal's office and saying, you will not have her make a saint. It is against our religion. You will not have her do it. And she had to come up with a different thing for me. So I did, uh, I carved a lithograph uh, stamp out of uh, some, I don't know, rubber. And I chose to make a ram. She loved it. She said, can I borrow that to just take it and show somebody? I said, sure, because I was stupid. She never gave it back. So that was, a, okay, I'm sorry I made this drown out thing about, uh, about this, but for some reason it just came back to me today. And those other two instances, three instances of her were, were not uh, typical of my art teachers. I Most of my art teachers I absolutely loved. But um, anyway, just today thinking about about this, you know, this, this doesn't bother me. This is a, a painting on fabric. Um, but you know, it's very different from what she was wanting me to do. And uh, sorry about the divergence. <laughs> All right. So uh, my next berry is for my um, uh, seasonal berry sal. I'm working on happy fall, y'all. And I told myself to look up who made this fabric. It's called Andorra, but I, I, I put the rest of the fabric away. <laughs> so I'd have to get it out with a little, that has a little label on it. Rogue is sitting here and she's kind of peeking out the window a little bit, but she sees, um, she, she wants to growl. Don't you? Anyway, um, this is how far I've gotten. Um, I'm starting to fill in this banner. It, it, I just didn't finish the line down here. So after I finish this red in here, there's just a little bit down here. See the acorn? The acorn with a little bit. And that one will be done, and then I will fu fully finish my autumn berries and the um, lots of jolly berry and um, move on to my winter berries. I still haven't chosen fabric for my winter berries. I've been thinking about it, but I haven't chosen fabric for it. And then the final um, cross-stitch I've been working on is my Whip Go Challenge, the first one for this month, which is Christmas Lantern, 15 days. And uh, today is the 7th. 7th? Yeah, today is the 7th. So I've done six days. I haven't cross-stitched yet today. Um, and I did a center start, which would be right here. And I'm going up. And then I'll go down. So this is my start. So you can see here in the light, you can see this white. But when I'm stitching, when I was stitching on it, I couldn't see it. But here in the light, you can see it. Well, I couldn't see it at all, so I I did a little back stitch around this flower so that you could see it. Let me see. Um, wow, I'm surprised at how much that shows up, the, this white right here, because when I'm looking at it right here, I can't see it. It's blind stitching. And I'm almost done with this little bird. It has a little red chest. 
When I was working on it, I thought this was the side of the face and, you know, why doesn't he have a beak? <laughs> oh, because he's looking at you. Isn't that a cute little face? <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a cute little dude. So, above here... When I do, when I go up, well, I have to do these white things here also. So I'm going to do this too. And then when I go up, I'll have to do these too. Uh, I think I'm just going to start working on this all around. Now, if I finish all of that, and it still hasn't been 15 days, I'll start on this top thing. And then I'll go down from there. I, this fight, I may not want to finish down just so I don't have to count it so much. Because once I finish the flowers to here, it tells me how far down to go, right? I don't know. Maybe I should go down. And get all the flowers in that I can get in uh, during this 15 days. And then, then do the box. I don't know. I love this pattern. There's no embellishments or anything on it. But... I just love those berries. They're so pretty. Uh, <laughs> it's also snowing inside there. You see the little snow things? I'm not going to put this in. Uh, for two reasons. I don't want to count those. I mean, they're random. I could put them wherever. Uh, but they won't show up on my fabric. Um, as, like I said, <laughs> you can see this here, but I think overall they just won't show up. One little stitch. So I don't think I'm going to put those in. But other than that, I plan to do the fabric as, the pattern as is. Does that N look like an N to you? Is it a lowercase N? I think it's a lowercase N, right? I don't know. Anyway, enough of that. So now we're back to uh, my 200 subscriber giveaway. Um, so I'm giving away two things because 200. Uh, no, if I ever get up to 1,000 or 2,000 like some of these channels have, which realistically I'm not going to. but were I ever to get out, no, I would not be giving away, you know, for every hundred. But, well, it's small like this and I can do it. <laughs> so there's two items. Uh, the first one is, these are both by Dirty Annie's uh, Southern Style. The first one is, OMG, they got me a whole tree. And you have to use the word cat. Now, some of you have used the word cats because I've been working on my cat um, quilt. And I'm not sure if you're entering the giveaway or not. So I'm going to assume yes. If you answered and you used cat with an S and you did not want to enter the giveaway, just let me know. And then the second one is fat pants. Uh, it says, happy Thanksgiving, get your fat pants ready. <laughs> 
And I just think it's just, it's cute. It's, you know, I don't think it'll be a very long stitch. There's very little um, things. Um, for If you want this one, thankful. Say the word thankful in your comment. Now, I didn't stress this in the last thing, and everybody already knows, and nobody did it. Um, don't say giveaway. Don't say any of those trigger words that'll, uh, you know, get the bots to come and, and mess things up because I want to give this to a subscriber. Please be a subscriber, but you don't have to be. I'm not going to check. And uh, please be over 18 so you can legally give me your address. And I should have said those things last time, but I was kind of spacey last time, I think. Yeah, so... That's all I have for today. And I didn't have to cut this video once with my dog barking. She must be sick. She's laying here beside me. She just laid down and she's taking a nap right here beside me. So she, she wasn't banished to another room today. Okay, so that's everything. Um, appreciate all of you and uh, hope to see you again next week when I will announce who will win the, the giveaway. Thanks.